Oh, and welcome again to the 17th day of Advent for Cyberhim Trihackme. So today is another secure coding day. It is the day of filtering for order amidst chaos. Now, I think the original one was cross-site scripting, but they probably changed it. So, um, we have a secure coding challenge here, and I just, you know, briefly went over the uh, different kind of descriptions and stuff. I haven't answered the questions yet, but this is about Redic, RecX. So, Reddit expression is another language itself, where you can combine different kind of characters in a certain way. Something like this, for example, um, or something like that. The rule you see here at top, for example, basically say, where am I? Got it, there we have it. Like anything in the letters A to C, and the length can be within three to nine characters. And you can actually read it here. You can also take this. So it would say like, if you want a string that starts with three letters followed by three any other characters, the pattern would be something like that. So, it can be quite powerful when you look for strings that have a certain, you know, format or type format because it's gonna be easy for you to find it using a regular expression especially if you have, if you have a large file you're gonna look through so if you put up the room I did a split window of it you know we have the maybe I should just show you in the folder we have the strings so if I cut out strings you'll see a lot of strings now these could be you know you could probably because of the size you can probably go through it all by just you know counting but that's not what the idea about in this rule the idea is that you put, use this python script here and you put in the uh, commands well in this particular case i remove the input i i don't want you to write the actual regular expression in the uh, script while it runs the original was like something like input blah 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 but i'm not, you know i just deleted that and just gonna put it directly inside of you know the the, the um uh, inside the variable regex so, the idea is that we need to run the script like this, and with the rules, we um, get it outputted. We have a regex that is not filled out, which basically means that everything is matched. This is why we get everything printed to the screen. We need to match something. And the very first thing we need to match, I think, is how many usernames fit the above syntax. And the hint is that a regex can be seen in the example tasks. And it's like for username, add from the numeric minimum of six characters, maximum of 12 characters, making this upper and lower letters. So that shouldn't be too difficult. So the idea is that we say we start with. I should probably tell you that you should read uh, this table right here. At the beginning, at the end, that's the most two important characters, so pay attention to those. Let's go down to the questions one more time. So we begin with, and then we do need some letters, so A to C, capitalized, numbers, and the length, where it would be something from 6 to 12, and that's going to end the string. This is what we're going to save, this is what we're going to execute. And you will get this amount of strings. We see eight strings. That's the first answer to the question. Eight. Um, filtering for username. One username consists of a readable word concatenated with a number. Okay, so that is user 35. So let's write that. Filtering for emails, how many emails fit the above syntax? And the email is something like that. Um, and something like that without quotation. Let's do a normal email um, syntax. We can keep the the start and the end characters. We can say something like anything matched by that's a dot and the plus sign you're gonna read that up here you know 
Maybe I should tell you this. The the, the dot is a wild card in anything match, and the plus is it's um, it kind of um, how can I say it? It, it kind of it matches the, the, the preceding token one more time, so it's um, as many as it takes, right? <laughs> So we don't really know. So that, then we have the question mark, and then one more time, same syntax, um, and then another plus. It's at the com address. I think that would basically do it. And the backslash escapes the regex operator. Now we need to do that because we have um, two operators after each other. So save it. I run it, and we're gonna get. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and eleven. All right. So, <clears throat> filling. How many unique domains are the unique domains? Gmail. There are three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. I think I counted. I may count wrong. Yes, that is right. Uh, Free for emails, what is the domain name for the local part? Lyrish 44. Lyrish, that's amg.com. Uh, what is the domain name for the email local part? Maximax. Maxi, Maxi, Max, that's fedfold.com. Interesting names, I would say. <laughs> Uh, Phil was the local part of the email with the domain name Hotmail. Um, Sign Vault. Okay, I'm gonna copy paste that. Okay, fill for URLs. How many URLs fit the syntax provided? Um, Start with other HTTP, HTTPS, some of the URL had dot dot dot, and a TLD should exist. So let's go back to the um, regex script and let's write it out. So it might start with HTTP. Well, they always do. And I think it's like we're gonna say, um, and then you go back here to the list. I'm gonna show you. So I'm not just typing the percentage, it's like a group specific. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be there. Uh, if we put a question mark after, so that's optional. So as the text here below said, we're grouping it so we can question mark it that we don't know it's HTTP or HTTPS. That's why we do it like that. And then we do like, we don't know what's afterward, but it's gonna be three letters. I think we could, We could probably do something like, you know, well, I, we all know it's probably this, <laughs> but I'm gonna leave it like that because we're like sneaky. So, and that might be top, top, top. So that is also optional. Um, and that is preceded by an X amount of characters that we don't really know. We don't know the main name. And we need to escape it one more time and put in the the uh, the uh, the character for um, again let's take the table matches any character um, and then I think we need to do plus that I think I think we need to try that I'm not 100 percent sure yeah something is wrong I think I think what is wrong is we need a double dot. Let me just test it. Yeah. Um, so let's let's play it out. So we have we have the different kind of domain names here. Dot com. And since we need the dot, uh, I need to escape the dot as a not part of the expression, but a part of the um, match that I want that's that's usually something that yet you know like when I do it but this is the easiest way what was the question um, 
how many URLs? All right then. Seven, I think I counted. How many? What? How can it be? One, two, three. Oh, wait a second. We we have the. Oh, I forgot the the optional for the HTTPS. That is something I should have known. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. I think I counted fifteen. Let me just see if I went too fast. Fifteen. Then I counted sixteen. Then filtering for URLs. How many of these URLs start with HTTPS? Now that is easy. So we can just remove the question mark. And C7, that's the first one I got, so 7, and we're done. So that's really it, you know, let's break it down one more time. So as you see here, for example, the, the HTTPS, the more advanced one, say that in the start, so in the start of the string, uh, we, sorry, we need HTTP. Maybe uh, HTTP or HTTPS. You can say that is kind of the all sentence, but yeah. And followed by three letters, signs, you know, things. <laughs> and then maybe we see dot 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 and. Then uh, we're gonna have a dot followed by some domain name. Now that is the general idea behind this regular expression here. And as you can see, we say either HTTP or HTTPS. After that, three, you know, Science. We could, we could probably, if I, if I, you know, remove this here, um, and I say like, if, if we, if we run this, instead of this, could we just do like this, as we talked about? Would that actually work? And it would work because we, we, we are getting exactly that. And if I do the question mark there, so we make it optional for the HTTPS part. It looks like we're getting the same amount one more time. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven. Yeah, it looks like that. So it's kind of up to you if you want to match it by, you know, saying wildcard matching, or you just want to put it in directly and say this is the exact uh, latest you're searching for and the sign of colon. So I guess that's it for this video. We got through it all and. Ho, 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 ho.